Welcome to Physics with Mr. Brazil. This is part three of a four-part series. We're going to take information from uh, part two. We're going to determine the final velocity of a box sliding down a ramp. So at some angle theta, we have a box that's being held up about five meters away from the bottom. So um, let's review some of the information. So the angle is equal to 25 degrees. The coefficient of friction, 0 0.025. But the most important piece of information is the acceleration. I'm going to call it accel a parallel, meaning that the box, the acceleration is parallel to the slope of the box. And we determined that last time to be 3.9 meters per second squared. And then delta x parallel will be the five meters that I just wrote above the, uh, the ramp. Now, this is pretty straightforward. Um, you need to use your equations of motion, specifically v final squared equals v initial squared plus two acceleration parallel times delta x parallel. So if your teacher asks you to memorize the, those equations, do it. Um, What's very cool here is that the initial velocity, the box is being held right up at the top there. So that means V initial, the initial release is zero. Well, that now becomes pretty straightforward because it's just a square root problem. V final is equal to 2A parallel times delta X parallel square root. So let's just plug in our values. 2 times 3.9 meters per second squared times 5.0 meters, square root that, and the answer is 6.2 meters per second. That is the velocity at the bottom of the ramp. That becomes useful information. So see you in part four. Enjoy doing physics and keep studying.